Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Nickel Knives EDC Drop Point. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. Cool. Let's get that out of the way. And let's get into this knife. So I got this knife actually quite a while ago. Um, this is a fixed blade, which is very unusual for me. It's also a custom knife, which is awesome. And I got this knife quite a while ago, um, a few months back, and I did um, handle it a little bit. I took it out of the pouch. So this is not like an official unpouching, unboxing video. I took it out, took some pics with it, and um, I didn't have a chance to carry it. I didn't have a chance to really go over it, you know, in detail or, or handle it that much. I just got my pictures taken and then kind of put it in line um, with all my other knives on my desk. And I, I just never got to it. It kind of got neglected and I got a few more knives and then a few more and this got bumped to the back of the line. So I'm finally getting a chance to make a video on it. I'm pretty pumped up. It's a very <laughs> sexy knife, very cool knife. Um, but yeah, I, I don't normally, um, let's get this out of the pouch. I don't normally go for fixed blades. Got a little COA card. Um, but when I saw this, there were a few in stock and the fact that it was custom handmade, I thought, okay, I, I gotta have one handmade in the USA, nickel knives. I keep wanting to say nick, nickels, nickels, nickel. Yeah, it's nickel. Um, July, 2021. EDC drop point, AEBL stainless, pretty good steel. Uh, a lot of custom makers, actually like most custom makers work with AEBL. Uh, we got gray G10 blue liner, hashtag custom grinds. So this is handmade, uh, custom made by Tony Nickel in, I think it's Arizona. So there's two, let's go ahead and check this knife out. There's two different blade shapes. We got the drop point, which is right here. And then he also has the Tanto, um, which is really a crazy knife. It has like this really aggressive, almost cleavery uh, style to it. Uh, Kydex sheath. I'm assuming Tony makes these also. Got a little belt loop. Very cool. It's a very snug, snappy fit. So great Kydex. Um, really good fit on that. Let's go ahead and talk about the knife. So I only have, I only have one, I think one other fixed blade. Um, and that's the, it's also kind of a, a small EDC fixed blade. That's the um, Protec SBR. Uh, it's actually similar, similar sizing. And I'll, I'll get that when I do my full review. I'll do a little size comparison um, and get out the SBR when I do my full review. But very similar, just from what I remember from the SBR, very similar sizing. Um, and I have one more fixed blade that I'm gonna get, but I'm, I won't announce it until I actually have it in hand. But so yeah, this is this is only my second fixed blade. Very very rare occurrence for me. Now ergos feel pretty pretty good, pretty comfortable. Definitely fits my hand really well. In pictures, this knife looks way way bigger. Um, in hand and in person. This knife is just like a friendly, you know, EDC size. I mean, it's not, it's not that other than the uh, the skull. It's not that intimidating, you know. You can definitely carry this on your belt. Comfortable in hand, not too large. I'm I'm digging this so far. Now let's go ahead and check out the blade steel. I think this is like it looks like a you know, like an acid stone wash finish. So it's not going to show any wear. No fingerprints. To me, this is um, more interesting than just the stone wash, got the acid stone wash, and got his logo there. We have um, the, the the tip is is very thick. There's there's a joke in there somewhere, but got a thick tip, flat grind, got a nice flat coming across, very comfortable smooth swedge, and then excellent hand ground thin hollow grind on the belly. We have some really aggressive jimping up top. So 
if you kind of go along each notch, the jimping is definitely super sharp. If you have weak thumbs, don't get this knife. No, but um, when I just press my thumb down, like I'm like I'm gonna cut something, it's comfortable. I mean, it's it's definitely aggressive. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna sit here and touch each little edge and corner. If I just put my thumb on the jimping, it grips my thumb. My thumb's not going anywhere, and that's what I want from jimping. You know, especially if you're gonna. It's a fixed blade. I'm gonna use this knife harder than I would a folder. I I, I like that jimping. Um, kind of goes with the overall aesthetic of the knife. Kind of this, you know, rough, tough, you know, outdoors uh, vibe. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. So I do like the jimping, um, even though I know this will be too aggressive and too sharp for some people. Now, this knife is handmade, custom made by Tony Nickel. Everyone has their own definition of what a custom knife is. You know, did I make did he, did he make this specifically for me? Yes. Did he make this to my specs and the the blade finish I wanted and this and the grind? No. This is a model that he makes, limited in number, and he made this one specifically for me. He made it 100% by hand. I considered that a custom knife. He also um, normally these knives have you know the same color. It's not. Um, know, a uh, different color on the scale uh, than on the liner. One color all the way across, but he threw in some knife standard uh, blue liners on there for me. So that makes, you, that, that makes it feel extra special. And you guys already know that's my favorite color. So pretty cool, nice little extra custom touch for me. Um, he was super cool in email, super responsive, um, you know, easy to deal with. One 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 thing that's kind of a bummer is he's like a mystery man. He's not he, he does post on Instagram um, and he does have a website, but there's just not a lot of info on him or his process. I love to see makers, you know, grinding, grinding the steel or before and after or progress pictures, something kind of, you know, makes 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 me feel more connected to the knife or the product. But, you know. Is, is that the end of the world? No. So um, some people aren't into the uh, social media aspect, but it would be really great if I could, if, if he could, if he could post more about what he's up to or th what he's working on currently. He also has slip joints, which look amazing. Again, slip joints aren't necessarily my thing. I think I would prefer a fixed blade to a slip joint at this point, um, but they're it's really excellent work, really kind of intricate um detailed work so definitely check check it out it's it's nickel knives i'll get the pouch so you guys can see nickel knives um so pretty solid first impressions now yeah the i'm gonna have to knock this down a little bit it's definitely sharp on that edge but i will take care of that maybe in a separate video i'll knock that down a little bit it should only take a minute so a little little bit you know a little bit uh rough on some of the edges excellent grind really nice custom you know he does this kind of rock pattern on the g10 scales really comfortable in hand pretty solid first impressions and um and it was made specifically for me so you can't beat that i'll go ahead and uh see what i can do about these little sharp edges of course the jimping i'm gonna leave because i like the way that feels and um i think i'm gonna do just a quick Got some just scrap paper here. Let's do a quick little, I mean, I can, this is a serious edge, but I'm just gonna do a little, yep, that's all I needed. <laughs> just a little, you know, not really factory edge test, but you know, straight from the maker uh, edge test. Pretty, yeah, really pretty damn sharp, really sharp. So um, solid first impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and carry this see how i can get it uh either on my belt or yeah i don't know how i'm gonna carry this it'll be on the kydex i might get i might get a different different clip um but we'll see and i will um get back to you guys with a full review as soon as i have a better feel for this knife awesome uh thank you guys for listening and watching i really appreciate it this has been knife standards i will catch you later